I know that I'm not supposed to have two elements that have the same exact ID. But what if, what if I do accidentally have them in my page? You may have a contact form on a page, a mailing list on the same page, and maybe another form on the page that accepts credit cards or creates an account or something. And each of them may have a text box called name or email. And it's very likely that you might have named them accidentally with the same ID. So my question to myself was what happens if I accidentally have that? Can I kind of get away with it? To test it, I, I'm recording this. I made this small example which answers the question so I'm recording this observation. I have three divs with the IDs 1, 2 and 1. So I have duplicate IDs for these two divs. With the first button with jQuery I'm going to try and access the element that has the ID 1 and do something with the element and see what happens. And with the second button, I'll do the exact same thing with plain old JavaScript. And I'll do all of this in this index.js file. But before I show you the index.js, I've got each of these three divs with a background color of red, a width and height of 300 pixels. I've got a border around each of them and some margin. And I'm floating them all to the left so you can see them all in one single screen. In the index.js file, in the button click of the jQuery button, I access the element with the ID 1 and set its background color to green. I do the same thing in the second button except with the document.get element by ID and the basically the JavaScript method. I want to see first of all, does this throw an error? What does it do exactly? The documentation just suggests that you shouldn't have two elements with the same ID, which is common sense, which we all know. But what if we accidentally have them? What's the behavior then? It doesn't tell you anything about the implementation in such a case. So that's the reason I'm trying this example. Let's see what happens. If I click the jQuery button, only the first text box changes. The third one, which also has the same ID, is not selected. If I click the with JavaScript button, the same thing happens. So it is evident from this behavior that both of them will not throw an error. They will only select the first ever item that matches. Let's look at the console to see if there are any errors and there are no errors at all. Let's actually de verify this in the debugger. I will set a breakpoint over here and here and see what is in this one element in each of these event handlers. I'll click with jQuery again and I see that one has just the length of one. This selector has selected just a single element, so it has ignored the other element with one. Similarly, if I click the with JavaScript button, I see that there's only one element that's been selected. As you can see, the next element sibling is the second div, the div with the ID 2. So this is the first one that's selected that has the ID 1. And to verify that still further, you can see that the inner HTML or the outer HTML of this has the background color green, which suggests that it's the first box that's selected. But what if, let me change the HTML a little bit. What if th one of these duplicates were inside another div and so their DOM path were different? What would happen then? Let's run the same example and see what happens then. But before I do, let me change the size of this one. Otherwise, both of these will have two and one will have the same size. So you won't be able to tell what's happening to the two text box, or to the two div. So I'll go ahead and say the element with the ID one that's inside the element with the ID two, let its width and height be only 100 pixels. Let's run this example. Now if I run this, I still see the same behavior. Only the first element ever gets selected and we still see no errors in the console. But am I going to be able to get away with this? Sure, it looks like. It looks like that you can get away with it because the document 
API, the DOM API doesn't, as we can see from this observation, it doesn't actually threaten you or impose any kind of errors or penalty. It doesn't blow with an exception. All it does is silently fail. It just selects the first one. So can I get away with it? It looks like you can. If you have pitchforked yourself into a situation like that, you can use specific CSS selectors. So I can. I'm setting the background color of the second duplicate to yellow using jQuery. And in this handler, I'll do the same thing using plain old JavaScript. Let's run this and see what difference it makes. I had them backwards. This time both are affected with jQuery as well as with JavaScript. So from this observation, we can take note of the fo following truth that you can get away with this, although again, it's common sense not to use same IDs for different elements, but if you had to, you can use specific CSS selectors because the default behavior of all implementations, whether jQuery or JavaScript, is they don't fail or they fail silently, you can say. They select just the first element. They don't throw any exceptions. If you want to become a computer programmer, I'm starting an online course. Please watch my website, satyaish.net and join the mailing list and I'll send you an email when I have the course launched.